Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. For 356 days, Ukraine stands strong against the forces of the Russian invasion. The Ukraine Defense Contact Group, known as Rammstein Format, organized by the United States, met at NATO headquarters in Brussels yesterday, reports Radio Liberty. Ukraine Defense Minister Alexei Reznikov took part in this ninth meeting of the group that unites defense ministers and other high-level officials from over 50 states that provide military support to Ukraine or consider doing so. This is a two-day meeting, and according to Reznico, the second day will be dedicated to tanks, reports Zerkalo Tizhnya. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin expects Ukraine to launch an offensive in the spring, reports Interfax Ukraine. He said that the members of the Rammstein format are united and determined to continue supporting Ukraine and believe in the success of Ukrainian troops during this offensive. Therefore, they, with partners, are working hard in the contact group so that Ukraine has the potential in armored vehicles to create the necessary effect on the battlefield. The head of the Pentagon also added that he believes that Ukraine will be able to take the initiative and create favorable conditions for itself. Austin stressed that he does not have any news on the issue of aircraft supplies to Ukraine, however, he noted that a lot has been done to supply Ukraine with necessary counteroffensive equipment. The U.S. Secretary of Defense has assured that the United States and international partners would do everything possible to provide Ukraine with sufficient ammunition as soon as possible. He pointed out that the war had been going on for a year and a large number of artillery shells are being used. The Defense Secretary added that they would do everything possible, cooperate with international partners to provide Ukraine with sufficient ammunition as soon as possible and ensure the sustainability of their efforts. Also, the head of the Pentagon noted that the Ukrainian military are now being trained in different European regions, where in particular the emphasis is on maneuvers, which may affect less use of ammunition. Ukraine Defense Minister Alexei Reznikov said that during the meeting, partners assured that Ukraine must win and victory of evil is the only risk to the global security system, reports Ukrainform. He also said that a separate report was submitted on the results of inspections of the use of weapons supplied to Ukraine. According to the minister, everyone was satisfied with the results. In his evening video address, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky said that at the Rammstein meeting, Ukraine's partners confirmed more air defense systems, more tanks, more artillery and shells, and more training for the Ukrainian military. He added that not everything about Rammstein can be reported in public. Many of the agreements and discussions should be kept behind closed doors. The president stressed the importance of speed of the support. If you like what we do and would like to support us, you can subscribe to our Patreon, send us a one-time tip via PayPal by following the link below, or simply by recommending us to your friends. The Financial Times writes that Western intelligence indicates that Russia is building up aircraft power near the border with Ukraine, suggesting that Moscow is preparing to use its warplanes and helicopters in support of a faltering ground offensive, reports European Pravda. Fears of a looming air war in Ukraine have prompted allies to prioritize air defense and artillery munitions supply to Kyiv. According to two officials, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin emphasized the threat posed by Russia's significant air force on Tuesday during meetings with NATO members who support Ukraine. He made it very clear that we have a short amount of time to help the Ukrainians prepare for an offensive and that they have very specific needs, said a senior U.S. administration official. The Russian ground forces are pretty depleted, so this is the best indicator that they will turn this into a dogfight. If the Ukrainians want to survive, they need to have as many air defenses as possible and as much ammunition as possible, the official added. According to the publication, the US will announce another aid package for Ukraine at the end of this week, which will mainly include air defense systems and ammunition. The U.S. Army signed contracts worth $522 million U.S. million with two companies for the production of artillery ammunition for the armed forces of Ukraine, reports Radio Liberty. The relevant decision was made by the U.S. due to fears that Ukraine is quickly exhausting its reserves of artillery shells. The U.S. plans to start delivering new ammunition in March. 
The Wall Street Journal informs that Ukraine may receive presumably Iranian weapons seized by the U.S. Navy off the coast of Yemen, reports Fakti. The U.S. military said that they plan to send Ukraine more than 5,000 assault rifles, 1.6 million rounds of small arms ammunition, a small number of anti-tank missiles and more than 7,000 proximity fuses that were once intended for Iranian-backed militants in Yemen. This unusual step would open up a new source of military assistance that America and its allies could resort to, states the publication. Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shmigal said that in February Ukraine plans to raise more than 2 billion US dollars from the United States, the World Bank and other donors, reports Interfax Ukraine. According to him, in January Ukraine received 4.2 billion US dollars from the European Union and the United States. These funds are needed for critical state expenses, financing salaries, pensions and health care. According to the Sky News sources, the United States is preparing a new 10 billion US dollars aid package to support the Ukrainian government, reports European Pravda. Officials said the Biden administration is preparing several statements aimed at demonstrating unwavering US support for Ukraine ahead of next week's anniversary of the war. This includes new sanctions against Russia and the potential 10 billion US dollars direct budget aid package to help the government in Kyiv continue to function. It is also expected that another large package of military aid for Ukraine will be announced in the coming days. Five Ukrainian citizens have been killed, including a family from Zaporizhia. Seven more are considered missing as a result of last week's earthquake in Turkey, reports the SNUA. Spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine Oleg Nikolenko said the embassy is taking measures to prepare for the repatriation of the bodies of the victims. A total of 136 citizens were found and 37 evacuated. 10 Ukrainians were rescued from the rubble. Players of the Ukrainian football club Minai got into a fight with the Russian team Shinnik in a hotel in Turkey, reports BBC News Ukraine. The reason for the fight was the shameful behavior of the football players of the Russian team towards the hotel employee and provocative shouts towards Ukrainians. According to the Ukrainian side, they agreed beforehand with the hotel that there will be no Russians there. After the fight, Minai declared victory and demanded from the hotel to kick out the Russian team, but according to the Russians, they decided to leave on their own. As our format is designed to give you only the most important news, we feel that on some topics more in-depth discussion is needed. And that is exactly what we are doing. In a new segment called Lone Talk, we discuss different topics in and around Ukraine with invited guests. From experts to eyewitnesses and ordinary Ukrainians who live through the war. Our first episode on Ukraine's war economy is already out. Be sure to check it out wherever you listen to our podcast. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.